it's Donna with Resale Tips and Tales, and today I decided to try to take Kyla shopping on my Discount Friday. So we headed over to Tabitha's house. Um, they were doing a great sale. They had 75% off on all of their clothing items. Um, unfortunately, I got here a little bit later this morning than normal. Usually I'm here right when it opens. Um, today I got here about two hours after they opened, and it was so many people in there. So. It was kind of hit and miss. I only actually picked up two clothing items. Um, I got some shoes, um, I got some toys, um, I got some other random things. Um, so I'll show you when I get home. And Kyla did an awesome job. You wanna say hi, Kyla? Hi. Hi. <laughs> she still has her cast on, so bless her soul. I think that's the only thrift store we're going to hit today. Um, but once we get home, I will show you guys what I picked up. See you in a minute. Okay guys, we're back at the house um, and I'm going to show you guys what I got. Now, I only picked up a few things. We didn't spend a whole lot of time there because of Kyla. I didn't want her to get irritated. <laughs> um, we even went out this morning to a little yard sailing to see maybe if I had some more things I could share with you guys, but I wasn't feeling it today. I didn't find much. We went to a flea market. We went to a couple different houses and I found nothing. The only thing my daughter found was this really cool wooden puzzle thing for 50 cents <laughs> that she put together today with her daddy. Um, but Kyla yesterday got something at the thrift store. You want to show them? She got a Doc McStuffin doctor kit. So Kyla Jean is now Dr. Kyla Jean. So that's what Kyla picked up. Nothing like getting really cool toys at the thrift store when they're in great condition. Right? Like. Hey, go over there and play with it while I show them what else I got. Um, the other things I picked up, um, one little like baby type toy I picked up today was a... Um, Classic Winnie the Pooh. Now, I used to collect these all the time when Why? I was in high school. I collected all the plush animals, but Why? I love the classic Winnie the Pooh. Um, but what's cool about this is they're counting blocks. So inside are stackable counting blocks. When I look these up online, um, they only have the newer styles, so I'm hoping... Sorry. I'm hoping the classic one here will um, bring about $20, $25. So we shall see. Um, I didn't pay much for these. It was 50% off discount Friday. Um, so I only paid $1.50 for that. What else did I pick up? A couple pairs of shoes I picked up. Um, these are in great condition. These are Stacy Adams. Um, these vary. So you want to look these up when you um, pick these up or when you see these. But these are in great condition. They're really gently used. They have a little bit of dirt on the bottoms. Um, but I only paid $2.50 for these. So I'm hoping to maybe get $25 for these. They're all leather. Now what I had to do is some research though because they look really tiny and they're six size 6. So they might be women's shoes. So I have to kind of look these up a little bit. So if I can get $25 for that, I will be happy. Um, the other pair of shoes I picked up today is a brand called Bach. Let me see if I can get that in there. It's a little shadowed. B-O-C. It's um, Born Concept. These are really good comfort shoes and a lot of professionals wear these. Um, they're kind of like a dance go, but these are a little bit lower line, I feel like, as far as resale. Um, but these are cool because they have like a tooled leather look to them. Um, they're black, but they are six, so I might sit on these for a little bit. But for $2.50, hopefully I can get $20, $25 for those. Wow. Um, just a couple other things. I thought this was really cool. It is broken, so I'm probably gonna have to glue it back together. <laughs> but it's a Mercedes glass replica car. I need to kind of look into it and see what kind of car this is. Um, I haven't really looked too much at the comps, um, but even if I get $20 for this, I only paid $1.50 for it. I'm sure I can fetch more than that. If not, I will keep you posted on that one. Um, a couple things of clothing. They did have 75% off on their clothing, but I didn't find a lot. It was already picked through because we got there kind of late. Um, but I did find this Jamie Sadik. Um, this is a golf line for women, but you could easily wear this with tennis or any other sporting event. It's a spandex, um, kind of stylish, uh, but it's black and beige. So this I only paid, let's see here. Not a lot, a dollar. <laughs> so these are fetching about $20, so even $15, $20 would be great. And then the last thing I picked up, I need to do a little research on, um, but these are brand new with tags. And what they are is called silver jeans. Now these vary in the value. Let me show you the back tag. But these are distressed, which still seems to be in. They are a flare style, so I don't know if that will affect the resale on them. Um, but I only paid... Gosh, not a lot. I paid $2.50 for them. And these range anywhere from, and they're brand new, so they range anywhere from $20 all the way up. I saw some for $100. So I don't know what the $100 ones make special, um, but I am going to look that up and make sure I list it appropriately. And I'm also doing some cross-listing on Mercari and Poshmark. Um, I haven't had too much success yet, so I'm kind of waiting to kind of figure out how both of those sites work. Um, so more on that. Um, but leave a comment below. What did you guys find this week? Did you have more success than I did? 
sometimes it's great and sometimes it's not, but you gotta continue to get out there. Also make sure you like the videos and subscribe to the channel. Until Tuesday, I'll show you guys what my favorite finds are, or excuse me, favorite sales. And I have some really cool ones to show you guys this week. So tune in Tuesday um, so you can see my sales from last week. All right guys, until next time, happy thrifting.